Hey folks, as promised in today's uh, You Ask I Answer video, I wanted to do a tutorial for the Analytics for Marketers Slack group <clears throat> on how to use uh, the benchmarking feature of Google Analytics, which is a fantastic feature. <clears throat> you need to have enabled it in Google Analytics, so you'll find it if you go into Google Analytics, it is in the audience section, you'll find it uh, down here in benchmarking. If you have not turned it on, you'll get a message saying, hey, this needs to be enabled. Um, <clears throat> it does rely on um, uh, Google's data for, and and adds your data to the benchmarks. So know that you know that's a thing. To use this, let's talk about the what it does. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set a time frame. You know, ideally something like sixty and ninety days. <clears throat> this is software that is going to um, be uh, uh, trim off the last few days. There, hang on. Uh, this is software. The goal of which is to figure out how you're doing versus your competitors. So we got two months here. A benchmark of data it takes a few days to populate. And broadly, it looks at, the, at these by major channel groupings to see how you compare to peers. So first thing you do is you go in and you set uh, what your your sector or segment is. So I'm going to do uh, advertising and marketing. I'm going to choose all because uh, you'll notice if you get too specific, the, this uh, section here will say there are not enough properties contributing and then uh, you won't get any data. I'm going to choose United States for me because that's where most of my uh, businesses, all regions. So let's see if that's too specific. 499 benchmark properties in the United States. And then you'll notice here that there are tiers based on your traffic uh, about where Google thinks you're, you are. Uh, so I, I'm in my website is in the 100 to 499 uh, sessions uh, benchmark. Now what we see here is a comparison of my website versus 499 others within this tier by channel. So here it says I'm doing better, uh, you know, significantly better on organic search than most other websites in my sector. I'm doing somewhat better on social, not doing as well on email, uh, definitely not doing as well on referral, which is things like public relations, and not doing any paid. So those are are two areas where, from an acquisition perspective, uh, not doing so well. You'll notice you can get acquisition stats and behavior stats. Stats you cannot get conversion stats for obvious reasons. Well, that is data that no one would feel comfortable sharing. So this tells me what I need to work on right now. Uh, I need to obviously work on uh, improving my email. I need to improve my referral traffic. Um, and I may want to consider ads. Now, one of the things that people love to say in marketing uh, and in business in general is they'll do the whole, let's let's take them to the next level, right? You know, that's the, the one of those boredom cliches. Well, in this case, there actually is a next level. And the next level is the next tier in the benchmarking. So if I set to the next level, this is what it would take to get to the next level. So for me, I have I would need to, to make up ground in organic search, uh, make up significant ground in email, and then obviously start paying for ads. This one here is probably the one that I would be concerned about most for my website. Uh, referral traffic's really down. And so the question is, what can I do to get more tr direct traffic from third-party websites as opposed to search or social? How can I get more uh, traffic in? Now, if I was a company, uh, I would be either hiring a PR firm or if I had a PR firm, I'd be firing them because this, this is uh, appalling. Um, because that's where you can get a lot of decent referral traffic from. But because this is just my personal website, I'm not terribly concerned about it. I don't really do any PR other than sort of incidentally. <clears throat> but that's that's how you use benchmarking. You set the industry, you set your region. If you get to a point where there are too few properties, back up a level on one of these categories. I would suggest maybe backing up on region or uh, backing up on industry. So in this case, if I was not able to get benchmarking for all advertising and marketing, I'd move up to all business or industrial. And remember that these are comparative benchmarks. Um, they are on traffic, which means that they're, they're guidance for you as to what you should be working on more and where competitors are doing better or worse than you. So if you are, wherever you are at your level, Start fixing the things that are most broken within your level, within within your tier first, right? And fix those things that are where you're not as strong. And then once you are green across the channels where you've made a strategic choice to participate, then switch up to the next level and and start rebuilding your 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 stuff to get to whatever that next level is. I would recommend on here 
that you you start the area where you're strongest already and double down on the things that you're good at to get to those you know make those benchmarks green first so that's the strategy uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know if you have any comments. Leave comments in the Analytics for Slack marketers group, uh, not on the YouTube video itself. We'll just, we're just going to park the YouTube on the Trust Insights channel. But leave it on the Analytics for Marketers group, and we can discuss it there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data, analytics, and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.